G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today I'd like to show you a simple and quick but efficient testing method for sensor signal integrity. What do I mean? Let's have a look. I just want to quickly share a testing technique that I've discovered recently with regard to ECU response and also wiring integrity. It's to do with sensors and quickly checking to see if the ECU is responding to changes without having to do too much um, searching and diagnosis. It's a little bit quick and dirty but it shows the response that we're looking for. I've got two scan tools that I'll show you with. This one here is a uh, launch C reader and of course the old faithful G scan. Now the method that I'm using today is to test an O2 sensor that I've been having trouble with. I just want to check and see if the um, wiring is okay and of course the ECU is responding to um, any changes that are being made. Let's first of all have a look at the C reader or the launch. First things first, we'll need a positive lead connected to our positive side of the battery and that will make sure you don't short it against anything of course. Put that to one side and as you can see over here I've put in a dressmaker's pin into the um, sensor wire that is the signal wire heading back to the ECU. So at this point all I'm going to do is whack on a bit of ye old spit onto both fingers onto these two and these two, they're now wet. My positive lead off the battery, touch that, and also reach down and touch the wire that is on my sensor that I've just connected to. Let's have a look at the scan tool and see what it shows. So here we go, we're now touching that wire. Did you notice it responds straight away? And I'll just hold it there for a little while and then we can release it. Keep in mind the C read is a little bit slow, but you can see it's changed already, simply by using my body as a resistor. We'll touch it again. That should change, given time that is. And as you can see, it's pr providing a, a flat line down there at the bottom, and that's an indication that we are affecting that control or the signal wire going back to the ECU. We release it, we should see activity again shortly. There we go. So that's the C reader. What's a G scan show? So while it's not quite as obvious with the G scan, we can still see the change being made. So let's grab that pin down there and my wire here. I'm now going to touch my wet fingers uh, onto the signal wire going back to the ECU and of course my battery uh, wire uh, using my body as a resistor. Keep an eye on this number here, 21, what are we after? 2150 at the moment. Also look for a tiny change in this line here. You've got to make sure your fingers are wet, of course, and I'm just about to touch it now. It's now dropped down to 2135, and you can see a tiny step down there. If I release it, we should see it come up again. There we go. And 2150, 2155, on again, down to 2135. We've seen a tiny little step there. So although this is a, a very quick and dirty test, we can clearly see that it shows that we have integrity uh, wiring integrity from our ECU through to our sensor and of course that the ECU is responding in kind. So I hope that's been of some use to you guys. I found it quite interesting when I learnt it the other day so I thought I'd want to share it with you. It works not just with O2 sensors but quite a range of sensors that are looking for some sort of change back to the ECU. So I hope that quick method will be helpful for you for any future diagnosis to do with sensor integrity and also ECU integrity and also wiring integrity. It was quick and dirty, but hey, if it works, why not? I hope you enjoyed this short video today, guys, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like, feel free to comment down below. Of course, don't forget that notification bell. You don't want to miss any future videos. So guys, until next time, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.